Hi everyone, this is Dave Bennett from OG-Crew.com and ThemedHTML.com. It is February 14, 2014, and we are going to launch our series on integrating T to H with MoG. This is getting extremely easy and very useful. Uh, and the fact that you can create convertible websites for anyone really fast and then mochi them out with very little technical knowledge all the way around uh, is a level that we haven't been able to reach before, but now we can. We're finally to a point after, what is it, five, five and a half years of really being able to dial in uh, that kind of power and make it very manageable for people who are even pretty much newbies to the internet you know very little technical skill all right i'm going to assume that you already have mochi installed and running i'm going to assume that you have theme to html installed and running i'm going to assume that you got the spinner api that we have inside theme to html and you're set up to be able to run at this level of the game i'm going to assume those things so i can just start showing you how you integrate t to h with moji and you're going to enjoy this i think because this is going to be an ongoing series where we add new steps along the way. So it's nice and simple bite-sized power. Okay. Very powerful steps one after the next, a few of them ahead of us. And this is going to be the first part. All right. So this is part one, and this is going to be the easiest way to integrate T to H with Moji sensibly. So we're going to assume you got your website the way you want it. Let me just open one. Okay, let's say this is your website. It could be any of the themes. It doesn't matter if it's the uh, plumber template, landscaper template, homeopathy template, uh, real estate template, or any other template we put out. Okay, they're all going to run. That's the idea is that they're going to work with Moji anyway. And so you can do this standalone with or without Moji. You don't need Moji uh, to use T to H, right? Theme to HTML.com. If you just go to theme to HTML.com, you can learn about it. But okay, so here it goes. We have this. And what I want to do is log into the control panel so I can adjust the pages. I'm going to go to the pages. Now, <clears throat> my intention is to create a whole bunch of variation pages like this. So I can set them up for the keywords I want or whatever. At least I can make my site large. Again, we're going to start at the beginning. First rule here is how do we create a whole lot of a page, right? by using this and running it through Moji. I'm going to show you how to do it. And the advantage of doing it with this page, this being the front page, the advantage of doing it with the front page is that we have our banner slider on all the thousands of pages. They're all going to work. We have our uh, contact block so people can immediately fill it out and submit to us and they'll all work. Uh, we can control them um, by controlling the panel. All this kind of thing. So I'm just going to set it up with the simplest lesson right here, right now, and get you guys started. All right, here we go. First things first, if I'm going to want to do that, I'm going to need a sitemap in here somewhere. Okay, and let me just show you what we did on this template. I don't know if I put the piece on all the templates, but you can easily copy paste uh, to get this on any of the other templates if it isn't there already. Let me show you. Okay, in the back end, if I click on home, all right. One thing you don't see if you scroll down is here where it says sitemap text and it's showing that that's a token. One of our typical universal, you know, global variables in uh, not global settings, but global variables uh, for this right here. That's these right here, global variables. Right. And that's where we set up our global variables. You guys probably know from the T to H videos. So anyway, you see this sitemap text here. And it's not saying anything in there. And if you go to the front page, it's not showing anything. That's because I set this up. I pre-set up this little block here in case I ever want to use it for a sitemap link. And I just thought that was a good spot to put a small sitemap link. And I might call it related pages or related or sitemap or whatever I'd like. If we look at the source code, this is where you can copy the coding. This is what I was talking about. If you do not have this on another page, just copy this chunk down here, which includes from the beginning of that paragraph to the end of that paragraph. Okay. And just control C it, say, so that you can stick it in notepad. Okay. And that way you can go paste it onto the source code of any other page. So for instance, if I went to the dashboard, change the theme to another theme. Okay. And then I go back to pages and open my home page. If I scroll down and it's not there and it isn't, then I can hit source, scroll to the bottom 
and I can just paste it in from my notepad text, right? Copy, flip back here, and control V, as in Victor. There, now when I flip it back, guess what, it works. Now, if I have it here, of course, I need to have it in the global variables too. So, what did I have to have? As a matter of fact, we can see the two tokens here. We had to have sitemap link, and we had to have sitemap text and in this case i could take domain out or leave it there just it's um for some other reason i have it there so i could just take it out as a matter of fact to simplify everything so let's do that instead and i'm going to do that on both i'm trying to keep this simple one step at a time let's go back to pages go back to home and i'm going to update that bit of coding source scroll down to the bottom okay i'm going to put it in and I guess I didn't save the change, huh? Control V. Now it's sitemap link and sitemap text. I get it. Okay, update. Now, I'm going to flip back real quick while I'm at it. Themes. Before I forget, plumber. Okay, go to pages. Home. Source code at the bottom. Change it. I don't want that domain part in there. Okay. Wow, I got it out. Okay. And then just update. Now, what I do want to make sure of is this. Go to a dashboard so you can get to global variables. Those things have to be in there. Okay. Sitemap link and sitemap text. Let me just double check. Okay. Um, yeah. Sitemap text, sitemap link. That's what I called them, and that's where I can put information. Okay. The text of the, the link and the link itself. So let me go make sure I have that on my other theme. Again, just keep everything together, right? If you do the one, you have to do the other. Since we now have it in our pages, let me make sure I saved it. Yes, it's here. I have to make sure I have it. Okay, global variables. If I don't see it, I flip the page two and I still don't see it, so I'm gonna add them. Sitemap link, let's see. Sitemap, yep, link, and let's see. Uh, boom, boom, sitemap link. I just happen to have this from before. And I'll leave that alone without a variable for right now. Save. Oh, fields required. Okay, sitemap link is going to be sitemap.html. How's that? I think that's going to work. Okay, that's my sitemap link. Okay, now I've got to also add sitemap text. Here we go. Sitemap text. Okay, make sure I get it. Sitemap text, all uppercase, no spaces. And that's going to be something like related, you know, for related pages. And that's what I want it to say. Okay. So here I have it and it's all filled out. Sitemap link says sitemap.html. Sitemap text says related. So that's my landscaping. So let me go back to Plumber to make sure I get that theme caught up as well. Okay. So dashboard, global variables, two. Okay. Let's edit these two. Okay, sitemap link, sitemap.html, and domain doesn't have to be anything. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to leave that one alone, update, uh, but I'm going to get that one. That's the one I needed, related. Okay, update, update, okay, there we go. And I can leave these blank if I want. That's the whole reason that the link was invisible, and that's perfectly fine. Okay, so now I'm going to come back to the dashboard. Okay, there's one other thing I want to make sure I do before I create thousands of pages based on this page. You got to remember that if we're going to, if we're to that point where it's time for us to do that, we probably are ready for the site to go live. We're, we're mojing these pages because we've got our pitch the way we want, and we want to want to create thousands of pages based on different keywords, different points, whatever it is that we're going for. Okay, so what do we need to make sure? If I view the page source, I can see it here. I'll notice that right now it is set to no index. We're telling the robots, the Google bots, the Bing bots, the Yahoo bots, we're telling everybody that we are not going to index the pages. Well, that doesn't make any sense for our purposes. We want to index the pages for these purposes. Okay. There, the, the easiest way to deal with that is just to go to global settings. So you can come down here to Google and other crawlers can index pages. All right, so we click on that. Can they index? We're going to say yes. Update. 
So guess what that means now? If I refresh, okay, and then I view the page source, it is going to be set where wherever it is up in here. Or, okay, the code just goes away. That's all. That little piece of coding just goes away because it doesn't need to be there to tell the bots to index. It just needs to be there, really, to tell them not to. Okay, so now we're back to this, and we're going to go ahead and emoji this thing out. We prepared it, okay? We stuck in our, our link. That's our point. See it now? It is here. It says related because that is the sitemap text. And when you click it, it goes to a page that does not yet exist, but this looks right. It's a sitemap link inside this project that I'm working on, okay? Which, whoops, <laughs> me being funny here. <laughs> Let me try that again. All right. And that is the way I like it to work. That's what I want. I want the sitemap for this project to be along with this project. That's what I would like to happen. Okay. So I'm ready. The pages will index and they have the sitemap link. By the way, do you really need to put it in? Not really. It's just that it's kind of nice because you have all these links to your sitemap. But if you do want to take it out, take it out and just put it back in the main page when you're all done with everything else. Just don't forget, and, and people will have an argument not to, right? They'll say, this is a drain on your page, on your, sorry, on your link juice, and we don't want it on all the pages. If that's true, that's easy to deal with. We can just put it on the main page. We have to have it on a page that connects to our other pages, but we don't have to have it on every page. There is an advantage to having it, though, and it helps the pages cross-link to each other so that those Moji pages get to share juice, okay, with each other. And that's, even though there's a drain through the sitemap, it's an easy way to get uh, those pages to share juice. Uh, the advanced way to go, of course, would be to only do it on the main page and not the other pages. Um, is it better? I don't think so. And it just depends. There's 20 ways to understand that. But if you did want to take it out, all you have to do is delete the verbiage. Okay, just like so. Update, update. And we can put it in in the end. All right. And so now you know. All right. Because the coding is still there in the page. Just so you know, the coding for the sitemap uh Link text is here, even though you won't see it now because there's no values to show. And that's okay. It's not a hidden link. There is no link, right? There's no link there. Okay. All right. So that was the first bit we're going to do. Now what we're going to do is actually make this thing mojiable. Okay. And so that's going to be the subject of my next video. I'll go ahead and break that off. Let you make your decisions on setting up your pages uh, so you can choose which theme you want to go with you know I don't care because they're all the same for for our purposes you can go with any theme okay just remember that when you go with your theme don't forget go to your global settings and hit Google and other crawlers can index the pages yes update don't forget update don't just say yes and then leave the page okay you have to hit the update button okay and then also what a, we want to uh, make our decision about our sitemap link and sitemap text. And so do we have that information in here? It's probably going to be at the end too, right? No? Okay, I can just create it real quick. And that's just a quick way of seeing sitemap link, of seeing it done, right? Sitemap link, okay. And that would be what? The link, sitemap.html. Okay, save. And sitemap text again yeah i don't have to go to the end to put it in there i can just hit add new sitemap text okay sitemap text and that can be related no reason why not save okay related pages right but if i gotta put it in there i gotta put the coding on the page that i'm an emoji or on a page at least because it has to exist right and a good way to do that is with this bit of link, okay? Because I created it, and I may as well use it. I can even make it cleaner by pulling it up together like this, and it's in one block. That way I don't miss any of it, okay? That's okay. I'm just showing you you can do it. Don't just paste it in the page, or it looks really, really weird. <laughs> See that? Go back. That's the back button. Hit source. 
So you're staring at the source code, come to the bottom, then paste it in. It doesn't matter if you have white space here or not, or it breaks, because it doesn't make any difference as far as that goes. Okay, that's not going to matter. You can update the page. It's it's going to be there now if we refresh. Okay, and scroll down. There it is, our related length. And it goes to right now just the same page because there is no sitemap yet, but there will be, right? And again, if you don't want it in there now, you don't have to have it in there now. Let me get back in here and let me actually, whoops, not there. I don't want to take the coding out. I just want to turn the variables off for now by making them blank. All right. I hope that showing you this a couple of times helps just drive the points home and it's really easy to understand. Okay. And let me take this thing back to the plumber. I'm just going to do that template. I feel like doing that template first. All right. Actually, all the templates, I believe they all work the same way for our purposes. They do. Uh, and so that's what we're going to do next. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and moji this stuff up in the next video and you see what's going on. All right.